Hello friends! If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you are a fan or a subscriber, thank you for your patronage. Today I will be talking about shamanism. I have touched on it briefly in the past and we're going to get a little more deeper into it this time. Nothing else I need to say, so let's get on with the video. Shamanism is more of a technique than it is a religion. A shaman is a religious expert who can coexist with world religions and is an element in animistic belief systems. The word shaman is thought to have originated in Siberia and refers to a religious specialist who possesses the ability to enter into a trance state to communicate with the spirits in order to heal, bring about fertility and protection, and act as a guide for the souls of the dead. Some scholars treat shamanism as the original form of religion, an ancient form of human wisdom. In archaeology, particularly in regards to the Celts, Shamanism is the basic religious form, later replaced by scripture-based religions. Other scholars use a stricter definition of shamanism, which confines the practice to the cultural worldview features specific to the Siberian Arctic part of the world. There is, however, an acknowledged continuum through the Americas and Southeast Asia even though there is a wide divergence of practice. Holt Krantz opines that shamanism should not be considered the religion of Siberia because shamanism occurs outside of Siberia and it consists of a constellation of traits that are not found in Siberia. However, he does specify a type of shamanism found in Siberia the Arctic, and Mongolia, which he terms, quote-unquote, minimum shamanism. This includes trance, direct contact with spirits, and mediation in a ritual setting. Central to the idea of shamanism is the ability to control the spirits which inhabit the seen and unseen worlds which affect life, health, and fertility. Healing cannot take place until the shaman has domesticated a number of spirit helpers. The shaman's healing role is both preventive and curative and depends on a worldview which holds spirits responsible for much of the fortunes and misfortunes of mankind. The tamed spirits then become allies of the shaman who can be called upon to fight off or overcome hostile spirits. The tamed spirits also aid the shaman in diagnosing and treating sickness, which is perceived in terms of soul loss. The main activity in shamanism is the trance, either public or private. Public trances are often accompanied by singing, dancing, and wearing costumes, adding to the dramatic effect. It can take an apprentice more than 10 years to become a shaman, whereas in other cases, mastery of spirits and knowledge of worlds can be instantaneous. Most, however, will follow a similar pattern. At first, the apprentice will experience involuntary and uncontrolled possession or a life crisis. At this stage, the person is considered a patient. If the cure or the exorcism does not work, others may perceive that this is a person who is destined to become a shaman. In recent years, there has been increased interest in shamanism in the U.S. and Europe. However, contemporary shamanism 
does not easily blend with indigenous shamanism from which it takes its inspiration. Many Westerners who attend shamanic workshops work in caring professions such as nursing, counseling, or other areas of care. And they want to expand the services they can offer to their clients. In traditional societies, shamanism is seen as both a blessing and a curse, but neo-shamanism encourages all to attain a shamanistic state of consciousness, or SSC. It is seen as a way of gaining control of one's life and expanding one's view of reality. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to be notified when I come out with new content, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this particular episode. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Please do not turn my channel into a dumpster fire. This is a channel for respectful communication. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not watched them, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Remember, I am now taking requests. Please leave them in the comment section. You can also DM me on Twitter or email me.